this section of this course covers difficulty adjustment and how difficulty adjustment is done inside the blockchain using just a code written by Satoshi Nakamoto. We'll dive deeper to understand the same. All right. So in this part of this blockchain course, we'll dive deeper to understand more about Bitcoin's monetary policy, attacks, forks, consensus algorithms like BFT, proof of work, proof of stake, etc. And then we'll jump on to wallets and exchanges, right? When you look at Bitcoin monetary policy, right, we can uh, connect something with uh, country's monetary policy as well. Every country that you take, be it India, US, Canada, Australia, any country, controls the supply of money in their respective countries. They decide how many $100 notes, how many $50 notes, how many cents and uh, the, the supply has to be there, how it's to be printed per year or per month, right? And uh, they also do it in the form of percentage returns, right? The interest rates keep going up and down for all the citizens of the country, right? So these details are decided by the controlling authorities of each country, right? But in the case of Bitcoin, since we don't have these kind of uh, controlling authorities or intermediaries, this is all decided by the pre-written code, right? When Satoshi Nakamoto created this Bitcoin, he wrote the Bitcoin in C++ language and all of the details surrounding how many coins should be there, how many coins should be created newly and uh, when should a new block form and all of these things has been decided by Satoshi himself. He created this particular software right so let's dive deeper and understand in bitcoin monetary policy something called as difficulty adjustment something called as halving then look at maximum supply of bitcoin and block frequency these things will help you understand that the kind of uh, rules surrounding bitcoin is all pre-written into the code itself right perfect first let's look at something called as difficulty adjustment right in the beginning, if you looked at uh, Bitcoin, right, in the year 2009 when it was introduced, right, the number of zeros that was required, right, by Bitcoin, uh, the, the hash condition, as we call it, right, was 12 zeros, okay. But today, if you look at, right, just now we saw it was about 19 zeros at the time of recording these videos, right. Now, how did this change? Why did this change from 12 zeros to 19 zeros? As we know, as the number of zeros increase, right, as the number of zeros increase, the difficulty of solving the problem of, you know, calculating uh, the hash increases, right? That's what we saw uh, when it had four zeros in blockchain demo, we needed very less computing power like my laptop. But when it requires 18 and 19 zeros, we went on to look at some mining farms which were so huge and with a lot of ASICs installed and things like that, right? So who decided it to move from 12 to 19 is what we are going to see in the form of difficulty adjustment, right? Let's see what, what is happening in the Bitcoin world. Before which, I would like to give a real life example. Okay, real life example to understand how this difficulty can change, right? This example is not new to you because we have discussed that already when we saw Bitcoin architecture and we looked at, okay, how does a traditional bank convert into a uh, Bitcoin based blockchain based system, right? At that point in time, we looked at a um, situation where there are multiple people in a system and then a few people say they are volunteers, right? So they will pick transactions from the transaction pool and then they will go run for five kilometers and come back. That is the work that they do, right? So that is the work that they are supposed to do, right? Now, when you look at their work, right? It was running for five kilometers as I told you, right? Five kilometers. I have decided that the, uh, see, every person should take about 10 minutes on an average okay to run this five kilometer okay uh, because i am the person who set the rules right who set this entire context and asked them to run itself in the first place which uh, let's say i am the founder of this uh, network called as satoshi let's say i decided okay let it be 10 minutes on an average okay 
So the first attempt, right? First time, uh, there are about five people who want to be volunteers. They are picking transactions, forming a block, and then running for five kilometers to prove to the network that they are valid nodes, right? So they are running, and then the first person, right? First person comes in eight minutes. Okay, eight minutes. The second time they are running again i mean uh, once the block is given uh, they can again pick transactions before which the transactions will have breached the transaction pool etc right so second time second attempt when they are running they took about 14 minutes to come back right they keep on doing this okay they keep on doing this what am i saying is okay i told you to come in 10 minutes on an average right but you people right after running for 2016 times okay 2016 times have come back and the average you know average time that you have taken to run this 2016 times is 12 minutes right so i expected 10 minutes you know uh, time for each of the block to come i i thought you will be able to complete the five kilometer run in an average of 10 minutes but you have taken 12 minutes right which is on the higher part right so what i will immediately do is reduce the difficulty because uh, the the average time expected is lesser than what you have taken right so uh, i think uh, five kilometers is too much for you to run in 10 minutes so let me reduce you know reduce the difficulty in this case of running reducing the difficulty means bringing this from 5 kilometer to let's say 4.5 right that is how you reduce the uh, difficulty for this real life scenario where you run for 5 kilometers right now let's look at in digital in the bitcoin case what happens right so when you look at Bitcoin, the same thing happens instead of, let's say, working, right, instead of going for uh, this work, which is five kilometer run, what they will do, they will, now I'll change the color of this, okay, just to show a difference, right. So, five kilometer, uh, less than to 4.5, instead of running five kilometers, what these people are doing, they're finding a hash, right, that finding a hash using nonce and everything, that's what they do, right. And the difficulty is maintained by zeros, right? The leading zeros as we can call it. So lead zeros, right? So whenever there is more leading zeros, the difficulty is high. Whenever there is a lesser uh, number of leading zeros as a condition, the condition, the difficulty becomes lesser, right? So if the same scenario happens, okay, the first block comes in 10 minutes, the second block comes in 8 minutes, the third block comes in 14 minutes and the like, I will try for 2016 times. This is set by Satoshi, right? This is set by Satoshi, okay? Set by Satoshi itself, right? So, after 2016 times, I will check the average, okay? In the past 2016 attempts, okay? When did they come? What is the average time? If it is more than 10 minutes, right, I will reduce the difficulty. How can I reduce the difficulty? Reduce the number of zeros. Let's say it is uh, 20 zeros, okay. I will bring it to 19, right. So that is how difficulty is adjusted in the Bitcoin world, okay. Now looking at uh, some factors, why, you know, the difficulty might increase and everything, right. So if you look at the factors, yeah. Um, let's say competition might increase, right? Today you might have uh, something like uh, i7, right? Tomorrow you might buy an i9 Intel processor, right? So you are you have more computing power today, right? So you will be able to run faster, yeah? Uh, you keep on exercising and stuff like that in the real world. You buy better machine in the uh, digital world, right? So that is how competition impacts you. And the number of miners also is important, right? So, uh, the number of miners increase, what is going to happen is, the competition again is going to increase. So, you need to run faster if you want to beat them, right? So, that is the factors involved in increase or decrease in the average time, right? So, that is how things work here, okay? Let's look at the next concept or uh, also we'll go into the uh, block explorer and understand how it has changed over time, right? That we'll do now. Now, 
looking at let's say this blockchain explorer itself okay i'll go to the latest block right so this is my latest block and you can see there are so many zeros here okay so i'll just count the number of zeros 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, about 20 zeros, right? So 20 zeros is the difficulty now, which is which means clearly it has increased, right? And let's go to the first block, the uh, Genesis block as we saw, right? So if you go to this first block of Bitcoin, you can see that there are only, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 zeros, right? From that time, because of the factors like competition, increasing computing power, etc., you have increased the difficulty of mining in the Bitcoin ecosystem itself, right? Now, uh, just keep this in mind. This 2016 times we are talking about, right, is approximately two weeks. Okay, so uh, you can definitely say that every two weeks, once Bitcoin system is going to check. What is the average time of the blocks created in the past two weeks? Okay, if it is, you know, uh, more than, you know, more than uh, 10 minutes. How does it calculate that? That also uh, comes pretty simple, right? At the end of two weeks, okay, at the end of um, 2016 blocks are over, right? 2016 blocks completed, okay? Now the system is checking, oh, okay, 2016 blocks are completed. How much time did it take? A total time it will take okay total time if it is more than two weeks right reduce number of zeros because it sees that the difficulty is high right and vice versa if it is less than two weeks it has completed 2016 blocks it will increase zeros so that's how difficulty target works okay let's look at the next concept of having right okay so now we have understood difficulty adjustment, right? So whenever someone asks you, what is the block time? How much, how is the frequency of creating a block, right? As you can see here also, frequency of creating a block is 10 minutes, right? That number is set by Satoshi, right? And it is adjusted accordingly. The difficulty is adjusted so that it matches an average of 10 minutes every time, right? It's not a set number as in 10 minutes once a block will be created. No, the average time of creation of a block is 10 minutes in Bitcoin. That's what we have understood by looking at difficulty adjustment. 